Hi, folks, and welcome to their Saturday morning Samo Flange. I'm Matt. I'm Benjamin. I'm Kev. Yay! What? There's a girl here. There's a girl in here. Like a girl. Like a real one. Mom doesn't know. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Shh. 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 Let me talk to you. Hi. I'm regretting this already. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen. My uh, good friend Matt, who is your Yay! typical host, uh, had a That's me. had a crush on my sister years ago. Yay! And here she is again. Yay! Now. And it's weird. No, I'm just Yay! kidding. <laughs> Can you be my new co-host? I'm no, we have a new off. co-host guest star. Yeah, it's Benjamin. Ah, I got usurped in <laughs> thirty seconds. <laughs> I'm so happy you could join us. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. So, um, happy Halloween. What, happy Halloween. That's right. Happy Halloween. Um, what do you think of Halloween, Kim? Candy. Candy. Just straight just up. Straight candy. There's no. You didn't even blink on that one. Good candy. Good candy. Good, good candy. Good candy. candy, candy. candy. Yeah. That's the point, right? Yeah. Uh, well, there's a lot of memories we all have about Halloween. Yes. Uh, mostly that I never celebrated as a kid because, you know, my parents because were the devil youth. back then. But now they, my parents celebrate it. No, they don't. Really? So, yeah, they do okay. now because we have grandkids who celebrate it. So <laughs> they have to. Um, so thanks thanks for that. But anyway, well, we thought we'd talk about top five Halloween memories. Fantastic. We have a, we have a lot here. I'm wondering if there's going to be crossover between the two of you. There will be, I think. There will That's be crossover. I'm if it were sure. Really? <laughs> yeah. If it were just you and me, I would say zero. Oh, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But with her here, it, uh, maybe some crossover. Yeah, Kim and I are only a couple, not even two years apart, really. And so I really think that we're gonna have mm, how many? Kim, I'm gonna let you since you're the the guest host. Sis. not she's the guest star, not the host. Uh, I'm gonna let you go first if you New want. New co-host. That's uh, me. Between uh, pick a number between one and five, how many you think are gonna be the same? Or zero and five, how many of ours do you think are gonna be the same? Yeah. For sure, too. For sure, for sure, sure too. Maybe more, but for sure. Too. Wow! All right, so I'm so gonna, you can I'm go with the high under. or low. I'm You're gonna, gonna go under. under. I'm okay. Go with one. All right, so I'm interested. Okay. Okay. Let me go first. For sure, since mine will be the least okay. interesting yeah. than y'all's. <laughs> well, five was in, from my memory was uh, in Forest, Mississippi, where I grew up. They used to have Reformation Day. That's what the church called it. And it was just like for the on kids. on Halloween? Like on Halloween, yeah. Okay. So we do our own little church. Made up you know, else. bobbing for apples. Got it. Got throwing it. the balls in the bucket. The little games and the prizes and the candy. What's in a name? Romeo and Juliet said, you know. Exactly, yeah. So that was what it was. But I remember that a particular one, uh, that there are these three little devils. A mom, dad, and a uh, kid devil. Hold on. And they pulled over on the side of the road Wait in front of our church. Wait a minute. Yeah, they were dressed up as devils. <laughs> in front of my church. They, three they were dressed up. They were dressed up as devils. Okay, okay. hold okay. on. Okay. And the Wait little kid. How old? Say there was how old, how old were you? I was I was ten maybe. All right. When this so happened, ten, eleven. Youthful. But, yeah, youthful. All so right. these three, you know, mom, de- devil. I was like, man, it's gonna be bold to come up to a church. Well, you know what they were doing? They're just pulling on the side of the road to let their kid take a piss. No and, way. And it was in the church's front lawn. No way. I mean, this is so sacrilege on so many devil. levels. It's like there's what? a. Kid dresses a devil Wait, and he's pissing is, at church. Is, what kind of parents are you? This is number five. This is number five. <laughs> <laughs> I, mine are boring. Man. Well, well, it didn't involve me. Well, I guess. <laughs> so it's just something I saw, and I was like, I was like offended on so many levels. That's, you can't like write. First a off, my script. mom and dad would never let me piss. I haven't seen a movie in front long, that good in a long time. <laughs> but I remember that happened. But I remember having good times too. But I just remember that happened during one of our Reformation hey, days. Hey, mom. Do you remember when those three devils peed on the church? <laughs> no one else saw them. What? It was, it was, they were playing, all the kids were inside playing games. How do you I not just went out, see a I devil went, pissing on a church? No, everyone off. was inside. I walked outside to count my candy to see what I had, and that's when I saw it, and then they drove right up. I was like, huh? and right. there was no one else there. Here's my real question then. You walked outside to count your candy, meaning. Yes. Secretly, though. You wanted to hide all your no, good candy. No, I didn't want people looking. At, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. wanted. To keep I didn't them. want. That's every, no, you, you have to count your good candy because Reese cups yeah. you had. You right. Didn't want I want to know. I want an exact count no. because when I get home, if someone gets in my bag, exactly. I want to know how what's missing. You don't care how many orange peanuts was, you've I was got. Just about no. To say that, those stupid orange. No. <laughs> I don't care about those or the hard candy. Nobody cares about the hard candy. No. Or the so peanuts. it's got to be the chocolates and the soft candies. Anything marshmallow related was bad. Yeah. 
and and anything, yeah. mainly ch- anything brand name was like, oh, this yeah. is yeah. This, is, this is top quality. Mom, let's go back to that house because that was the place to be. It was, it was great. They handed out the legit stuff. Yeah, it wasn't like the Nestle Crunch. That was always the knockoff. Was the the Nestle packages, you know, because Nestle is sort of like like of Pepsi and Coca Cola. It's always been like Hershey's and Nestle. You yeah, know, they've always been one and two in so many things. And then you could see there's always these houses that had the cheap ass Nestle packs of whatever they own, like Crunch Bars and uh, the the Kit Kat knockoffs and everything else. But then you had those people that just gave Kit Kats, and you're like, I love you so much. And I feel like I still remember where some of these people live. Yeah, those apartments. Yes. Pine Hills apartment. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, like I we were I still have memories of where the golden candy was coming from. Did y'all ever get money? I remember getting And then money. that same money. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Is these part of your memories? Yeah, are we giving a top five already or are these honorable mentions? Is that, well, hold up then. Is that one of your top fives? No, I thought about it though. I'll almost that, put it. That is okay, so that could be an honorable mention, but that would be both of our honorable mentions. We can yeah. mention honorable mentions right now, yeah. but I don't have any. Those fine hill apartments. Okay. Was that the end of the devil pissing story? That was it. Okay, okay. Yeah, because it didn't really involve me that so, much. But I just want to just picture this, ladies and gentlemen, for a second. Look, Matt's outside, 10 years old. He's counting his candy secretly because he has a big family, and he doesn't want people to know how many Reese Cups there are. Yeah. He looks up. <laughs> what, I wi- what I witnessed both <laughs> horrified and offended me. <laughs> what he witnessed both horrified and offended him. Imagine, if you will, a world where you stand outside and count your candy. The and thing- three little devils get out of the car. <laughs> and to, yeah, and, and to make it worse. <laughs> start urinating on yeah. your yard. <laughs> And to make it worse, all three were horny. Wow. wow. <laughs> no, you out. didn't. Wow. Okay, so uh, anyway, what's your number five? You made it worse. What's your number five, Kim? Our, our honorable mentions? or, or Oh, oh, go ahead and give your honorable mentions. That's I fine. think our, both of us is the same. We're, we were trick-or-treating at this apartment complex, and this and we know candy, 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 Nestle, fuck this guy, you know, and we're like going on. And then this one guy shows up with a giant, like, rucksack yeah. of money. It was like... <laughs> That's your resident drug dealer. The, the, no, it was it was it was a big thing, and he knew how excited I think we were going to be too. Because I remember he came up, he opened the door, was like, "Hey, just dig in and get what you want." And it was it, the bag was bigger than we were, I think, and it was filled with not just pennies, but it had like quarters and nickels and dimes, and it was just silver. It was it was just change. That's all it was. But he let us get as big of a handful as we wanted. Is that how you remember? He's like, get some more, get some more. Yeah, he would get some more. It was this huge bag of, of cash. It, but it was just change. That's all it was. It was his change that he saved forever. Or maybe he worked at a bank and he just cashed in like 10 bucks yeah, worth of it. Yeah, but to a kid, but that's amazing. It was incredible. Like, it blew us away. It, wow. it, it was probably... We could go to arcade. It was probably like 50 <laughs> bucks or 100 bucks maybe of change or something. But it was just a wow. was pounds and pounds of, of just coins. That's wow. Like, but yeah, you're right. Like back then, that was a big deal to have quarters because you could, you know, spend them at the at the arcade, and and that was a big deal. Yeah, this no, was, this no, was no. Pre- quarters for arcade money. This was pre Nintendo in the house. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, we were that's a big deal. Game. Yeah. So anyway. So who's first for number five? You go. Me. Go. Yeah. All right. My number five uh, is actually. <sighs> I love Jerry Seinfeld. He's one of my all time favorite. Okay, comedians because he's he doesn't swear and he's so smart with his delivery. He never ever he's got the same pet peeve I do where you don't walk out and say, "Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight?" and like kills ten minutes of his set by just, "I'm so happy to be here." And like, oh, well, you just tell a joke because we don't care. And but anyway, he's a genius comedian and uh, he perfectly captures what halloween means or meant to me as a kid and is it i don't know if i can play like material for on youtube like to 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 probably not probably not but he has a he has a moment in his uh his classic bit i'm telling you for the last time which is where he takes all of his classic bits from from seinfeld time okay and he mashes them all together his top right top, top jokes i guess and his his whole bit is, uh, what do you mean that this first when you first hear this concept of Halloween when you're a kid, you just how is this possible? Like people are just giving away candy. Who's doing this? How do we be a part of this? I want to I want to join in on this. <gasps> Everyone we know is just giving candy away. <laughs> I want to be a part of that. And then he just 
I can wear that, you know, whatever you need to do. <laughs> and and then he talks about going out and how the mask is always too tight and how nothing fits and it's right. freezing cold and your mom makes you wear your jackets and no one can tell you're Superman and everything else. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I've done all that. And then he gets to the end and that's my favorite part is because you get home and you have your reward. You have this heaping pile, of bowl of candy that's just bigger than the bowl. And it's just as big as bowl you've got, like a punch bowl full of candy. And you eat the whole thing in one night. Next morning, feel fantastic. And that was me. Like, that's my fifth. <laughs> that's my memory for number five. There you go. Having that heaping punch bowl full of chocolate. And feeling and, good. And the good stuff, you know, not the Nestle brand, yeah. but the legit Reese cups, Hershey bars, everything. All the, the good stuff. The whole thing, Solid. except for the bubble gum and the mushrooms, or the mushrooms, the, the, mar Whoa. the marshmallows. Whoa. Right. It and, was the drug dealer. But then the next day, like, you wake up and you're like, I feel great. It's just I miss that so much. That's one of my top memories. If we did that it's just now as that. adults, we would be. You just can't. Dead the next morning. Yeah, yeah. What's your number five? Um, it's not really in the past. It's kind of now. Dealing with Drew, my son, the fact that he it cracks me up that for Halloween, he doesn't want to go trick or treating. He doesn't want to dress up. He just wants to sit out in the driveway and hand out candy to other kids. <laughs> because this this kid doesn't like chocolate. Wow. So I have a nephew like that. He's so weird. That cracks me up. Wow. Yeah. That's funny. So he he's like what 10? Yeah. And he really likes just he likes being the the the, the guy who gives out the candy. Yeah, last yeah. year I made him go to a carnival because, you know, I wanted to be a good mom and <laughs> make him get out and do fun things and he was upset and he the whole time he he was really worried that he was going to miss all the kids coming up to Aww. the driveway. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's a giver. Yeah, he uh, really that's is. Sweet. Oh, that's, that's sweet. nice. Yeah, there, there you go. That's yeah. a good memory. I like that. All right. Right so, on. Is that what we're planning on doing this year, too? Probably. Oh, yeah. We're going <laughs> to. I've given up. Like, he doesn't dress up anymore. That's I what just, he wants to do. He doesn't even want to dress up. No. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It makes it easy I, on me. I was yeah. so excited to dress up. As long as he's having fun. I, yeah. He's just weird. That, yeah, that's Not all right. Bad. My number four is there's something I used to do every year back in uh, back when I got out of college. I used to drive up to my visit my friends in Texarkana. They had like a fall festival thing going, and but they had they had bonfires, they had hay rides, they had fall, and it was great. It was it was done on Halloween, and it was a church, but they just mm -hmm. called it a fall festival. But hay rides were so much fun. The mm -hmm. weather was just right. They had big bonfire. You'd sing around or roast marshmallows or anything. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have like a competition. They'd have a costume competition or a something competition, you know, some kind of fun competition for everyone to view and judge. And I was always the guest judge. Since <laughs> I was the only one that was not part of their church who came in and they all knew me. And I would always host the little game show, whatever like it was. Like as an MC or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I had the best time. And that I would thank them so every time. that he was the MC and the host. I'm telling wow, you. So I'm telling you. But gosh. it was always one of my favorite things to look forward to. And huh. I never regretted missing. Because, you know, back then, Halloween I was like, well, I mean, I kind of missed out on it all. And not that I wasn't getting invited to the parties. I'm sure I would have been and maybe was. But I was always up there and just I just had a wonderful time. I just thought it was just so much fun. So that's really yeah. sweet. No, look, that's uh, sweet, could, sweet could, memories here. I could see how that would beat out the devil pissing contest. Yeah, just slightly. But barely, though. Barely. Just, right. just by the hair. Number four for you. <laughs> Number four for me was... I went trick-or-treating far into my teenage years and <clears throat> into my 20s, and then I loved every second of it. But uh, I'm a very tall man, like we've talked about before, and I was this height, 6'6", uh, when I was uh, 16 years old, and very lanky and clumsy. And uh, my cousin, who I went uh, trick-or-treating with, is 6'4", and uh, he, he is bigger a tall than man. I am. That's yeah. not Brad. I was his older brother, Dusty. And uh, yeah, wait a minute. There's yeah. another. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> that's by the, the way, uh, these two people are related to the Jolly Green Giants. Yes, we are. <clears throat> and uh, we dressed up in drag just in random clothes that my mom didn't ever wear. We assume because, you know, we, we just stole stuff out of her closet. I think whatever gets you through the day. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. So uh, <laughs> we're full on in drag and then we drag mm, pun intended Kim along with us. 
uh, and she decided to cross dress as well. So we had her dressed up as a guy, hey. and we had a mascara mustache painted on you. It was awesome. And oh, the best part was that Dusty and I attracted so much attention at six six and six four, and you're about what five nine. Yeah. And so it may not even be in five nine at that point too. You're even shorter. Maybe. Probably, but. Uh, she stood in between us and we would garner all the attention as the door opened and, and they would freak out because clearly we were two giant men dressed in drag. Right. But they would notice Kim and then she would say, hi, trick or treat. And like everyone assumed she was a guy too. Like every house we went to. I made a really good guy. Hey, there you go. There you go. But she was so clearly like, I was, Lucy and, Ricardo, eat your heart girl, out. But, right, and everyone would just look and be like, oh my God, and just freaked out. People who knew us didn't know it was me. Over and over wow. and over this happened, and yeah. and we were just so surprised that yeah. the costume was that good. And I wish I had a picture of that. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> uh, That's I, a good memory. I have no idea what, I mean, I guess we were just in drag. We didn't really have costumes, but it was, we had big That's glasses on, and yeah. like, we d- drowned ourselves in bad perfume. Just and like, go. go get candy. Just go get candy. Wow. Well, Good candy, good candy. Fun! Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. All right, number four, Kim. Okay, mine would have to be Rocky Parties. Rocky Rocky Parties. Rocky Parties. parties. Yeah, epic Rocky Parties every year when we did them because there was all, everyone showed up. I think I only got to go to one of those. Costumes, and we always played like rock Rock band band and stuff. Yeah. Until four in the morning. Mm. And he he would always tell the best scary stories. And I would be terrified. What? Like, when I went home. He's a really good scary story. And I love, I love scary stories. Tells them stories good, huh? Yeah. That mm. always made me happy. Ah! But those were like the best times. Ah! Cool! I do miss, parts. I do remember that now. I miss that. Man, I mm-hmm. want to say I went to one of those too. You probably did. For a while. I, mean, I think I did went to one. Yeah. yeah. Like Rocky's Halloween parties were similar to Matt's New Year's Eve parties for a while. Ooh. That was about the same time too. Hello. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um... My number three, uh, I actually, we actually, Megan and I had some Halloween parties here back in the day. We did one every other year for the first four years and uh, then eventually stopped. I don't remember why. We may have done another one. I can't remember. But uh, we, instead of decorating ourselves, which was okay, we um, decorated the room. And one year, well, our last year, decorate the room, it was Nightmare Before uh, Elm Street. No, Nightmare on Elm Street. Megan was Freddy Krueger. I was a shredded up victim, you know, bloody victim. But we took the whole den and we plastered it all in uh, garbage bags. So it looked very dark. Okay. And in between some of them, we'd have claws ripped out with red paper behind to make it look like blood and all these weird little things we thought about sticking up to the uh, pictures and stuff to make it look like you were in a nightmare. You're walking into a nightmare. That's cool. And then my favorite one was the year before that. We covered the entire, and my girls are crying because they weren't there and they, you know, weren't born yet. They're very sad about this. But um, uh, it was when we were in, um, uh, wait, I covered the kitchen uh, table area and plastic sheet wrap, (laughs) and we took a dummy, saran wrapped him to the table, and painted a little cut on his cheek. I went as Dexter and my wife went as Dev. Oh my god! And I mean, it was in the it was in the sheet paper that he used, and I covered the kitchen from top to bottom. Oh my god! <laughs> sure did, and, and you could eat around the victim. Oh, but it my was a gosh. mannequin, and that was really cool. We decorate. I mean, our costumes were okay, but the room was what we yeah, would decorate. Yeah, that, that was, was a big what deal. It was about, wasn't that was what it was about. Those were good memories. Those were good parties there. That's fantastic. Yeah. I like that. Right, like, th- I, and that's like that's yeah. iconic too. I've never even watched Dexter, but I know oh, exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah. But I know exactly what like immediately yeah. I knew what you were talking about. Yeah. I've seen the stills and everything. Those are fun times for me. So I just mentioned Brad, uh, my cousin, who is the six foot eight one and mm-hmm. three hundred and fifty pounds or so, and uh, giant man. And one of my favorite memories was uh, my number three is uh, there used to be a haunted house in Calhoun called the Edge of Madness. And I remember that it was place. Very yeah. popular, and it was absurdly popular, and it was the place to go. And uh, f- rumor has it that it was shut down because of all the number of lawsuits that were presented against it, because it was very dangerous sort of place, <laughs> and a lot of people, you know, got hurt there, and so they shut the whole thing down with no warning. It just didn't right. come back one year. 
And that's because they made a pile of money and they were just like, okay, everybody keeps trying to sue us. So we're done. Bye. And they never came back. But it was the biggest Halloween thing yeah. for years. Got bigger and bigger every year. And they had two, three houses, or not houses, but like full on lots mm-hmm. of just scary stuff and Halloween stuff to walk through. It was amazing. However, one year, Brad, giant six foot eight, 350 pound Brad, was hired by the Edge of Madness to carry a chainsaw with no blade. Yeah. And chase people on the way but out. But to chase us all everywhere, all the time. Yeah. And scare the chance of I bet that was us. a dream job for him. Uh, mm-hmm. You know it was. Yeah. And it was, that's why it was so scary. Is because he clearly was enjoying himself way too much. <laughs> and he would find the daintiest little people to chase and mm-hmm. just give them the worst. But, but before anyone I, but thinks... But truthfully, that, I was scared watching the people he was chasing yeah. because they were so scared. Yeah. Like, it fed into me. They were so afraid. And just to be clear, Brad's not a bully or a meanie. No. Brad, if Brad God. were a Care Bear, he'd be called Tenderheart. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. The guy is just a yeah. lovable so, teddy bear, but he does lovable. love to have fun. But he has a, he had a blast doing I that. bet he and, did. And it was fantastic to watch. And, and I and to totally experience. forgot about Edge of Madness. Me too. And I'm going to have to rewrite mm-hmm. my top five. Oh! Right now. So you go ahead, give your number three. I'm going to give my new number three. And they we'll go around like that. Okay, well, I totally forgot about them, but there's a good yeah. memory I had of them. Go. My three is super easy because BJ already discussed it. What? Oh, oh, right. We got what one crossover it? already. One crossover. The, me, him, and Dusty going. Okay. Okay. You know, me as the, the guy going to retreat. Yeah. That's fine. But That's I just fine. have a few vague so What there do you, you remember from that, though? Like specifically anything in particular or just people's reactions over and over what, what you said i remember standing in the bathroom wondering what i was going to do and dusty came in and did the mascara thing i was like this is going to be stupid <laughs> and then i looked at it and i was like oh okay well, kind of amazing and then did the hat and everything and then i remember everyone even people who knew us like our dentist i don't remember that yeah, they they didn't recognize me. Our dentist, who we've had, who we were both since in that we chair since we were just little kids. Wow! Yeah. Now I, several people like that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Okay, a little bit of crossover there then. That is wild. I knew Crazy. that was going to be. One okay, one. new number three. Okay. One got bumped. My number two got bumped down. Number three and uh, devil pissing devils got. <laughs> just a new, no, I'm um, so glad it so, was number five. <laughs> so there you go. But anyway, uh, my new number uh, three was the very first Halloween party I ever went to. Um, Heather Sweeney uh, took me. K Street has a Halloween party just for K Street people. Oh, my God. Because they're snobs. Bougie. Yeah. Yeah, But but K Street is really, they send out invitations to only people in K Street, and only they go to this party. Yeah. Well, did you ever live on K Street? (laughs) That's why. No, but Heather's my best friend. I know. But uh, but Heather told me about the K Street party and that she didn't have a date. This is back when she was dating uh, Jonathan, I think, an old friend of mine. And whenever Jonathan couldn't make an attendance, I would just call Matt. He'll go with you. So I was her... Backup, backup boyfriend backup or something. <laughs> and so... Bougie Mr. people always got to yeah. have <laughs> Got to have it. I mean, seriously, Jonathan would call me and say, like, hey, Heather didn't have a good week. Like, will right? you take her out to Applebee's? I went, okay. Yeah. And I called her and said, hey, Heather, we're going to Applebee's. We are? Yeah, get ready. I'll be there in a fit. Okay. And she, Jonathan said, yeah, Jonathan told me you had a bad week, so I'm going to take you out. Um, okay. It was just kind of wild. But that's what we did because Jonathan was my bud back then. So we, I did that. And uh, but anyway, she wanted to, she wanted to go, and Jonathan couldn't make it for some reason. He had school, so he's like, "Look, just ask Matt; he'll go." I'd never been to one. I was like, uh, "Sure." And she says, "Okay, what uh, what are you?" I said, "What are you going to be?" Because Scott Brandel and his wife, Scott Brandel was going to wear a big Viking hat, and his wife was going to carry Advil, like because because. Scott Brandel was going to be horny and his wife was going to have a headache. Oh my I, God. I remember her doing that actually. I remember, yeah. I remember that was going to be their costumes. The yeah. yeah. That was going to be their costumes. And so it wasn't really a costume, but it was what they did. Yeah. So Heather, <laughs> Heather, I said, well, what are you going to be? We'll day, match yeah. too. Heather's going to be a sexy devil. Of course. Yeah, of course. Every year of course. she's a sexy devil. <laughs> sexy devil. Sexy devil. Sexy devil up. again. Are you sure she wasn't one of the devils that jumped out of the car? <laughs> no. This was a boy. I, I, Are you I positive? Say that. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he pitched his fork in her front she yard. She was driving. Okay, but anyway, but anyway, yeah, for real. Uh, she but, still has that outfit. But yeah, oh, probably so. But anyway, I said, well, I'll be a very well dressed angel then. And I had a white robe for my graduation. We got a nice little velvet rope. It felt like I tied it around myself and. Uh, we bought some big feathered wings and she made wow. a halo for me. And I said, all right, let's go. And I told her, I made them, I said, well, this will be my first Halloween party. And she went, really? I said, yeah, I've never been to one before. And she's like, oh, and then the whole night, this is his first Halloween party. And I was like, oh, yeah, don't tell everyone. Yeah, right, I told yeah, you, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it was fun. Everyone was dressed up. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm at a Halloween I party. what the appeal is. So that was my first Halloween party. Fantastic. And that's, that's why it got in there. So, But it's number three now because I got another number two. But Wow. It, it, so your first Halloween party got bumped by the Edge of Madness, too. Yes. Oh, Edge of Madness has, it was a really good. Oh, I mean, it, it fights for number one. Oh, it can't goodness. be number one. I don't think it will be. Wow. No, I don't think I'll make it number one, but it is a man. It is close. Wow. Anyway, but go ahead. What's number three? Number two, two for me. Excuse me. Is uh, uh, pretty specific to me. I think is um, uh, Kim and I were uh, roommates in college for a little while too. And uh, so kind of like the first time on our own away from the parents or whatever, and not stuck out in the middle of nowhere, living in town, quote unquote, and uh, near a grocery store. And I remember coming home to that house on Sheol that we were living in. Uh, and we had, it was uh, October, and there was Count Chocula, Boo Berry, and Frankenberry cereal all on the table at once. And leading up to this moment in my life, that was always a request I felt like I needed to make, like from my mom or something when I was young. And it's like, Maybe even through my teenage years, throughout them, you know, but because I never bought groceries before at this point, I think. And but having all three boxes of those cereal that only come out in October, seeing them all on the table at once, just like, oh, I'll just never forget that moment. And you know what I just had? Three bowls of that night for dinner. What? One of each, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and that was all about. I ate. I think I might have had two of each, but like it was just, it wasn't, it's, the cereal's not even that great. Count Chocula is the only one worth its marshmallows but the it was just the idea of it and no. having them all and such a unique thing and just being able to buy it on my own i guess and having it there an honorable mention of me they came with all five one year fruit <gasps> brute and yummy mummy fruit brute and yummy mummy came out only that one year those. and my brother i was young enough to remember yummy mummy it was a fruity one. Wow. Fruit Brute was in the 70s. I don't remember that one. But oh, when, yeah. but I bought each a box, and then I brought my brothers over. One brother always liked Frankenberry. I was Boo Berry. My other yep. brother was Choc- Choc- yeah, Count cute. Chocula. And Jordan was Yummy Mummy. That's cute. And so we all sat around. We all ate our favorite bowl wow. of cereal, and I ate Fruit Brute, too. Wow. But Caleb came. I fed him Fruit Brute. And see, it's but, because of that But moment. that was our – it was a it was a boy's lunch. I can't remember who was getting married in October. Caleb, maybe, but we all were there at the same time. I said, Hey guys, come over to my house. So we had br- breakfast at our house before uh, Caleb got, I think it was Caleb. Caleb got married and we all wow. ate cereal. Wow. Yeah. I get it. And it was, that, it was the that Halloween cereal. Seasonal yeah. cereal, the Halloween cereal. Yeah. And, and like, even when I moved across the country and was living, you know, in Oregon for a while, that cereal would come out and they have a big display of it at Target or Kmart or wherever it was. And you take a picture of it and I would send it to Kim and be like, hey, Stop. I was just about to say that. Halloween. Oh. Okay, listen, my number two is Count Chocula. No, <laughs> that's two. That's two crossover. Yeah. All right. Talk about it. Because just because of that. You see it? What are you on about? All right, no, you keep talking. Keep you talk. keep talking. I want to bring it's something bug, out. Keep... It? No, it's okay. not a bug. Goodness gracious! Talk about it. I'm gonna give. You, I'm gonna show you something. I talk. was. I was gonna say that about seeing it in Target and sending you no a picture. No way. And that's what makes it so special. Is every year. And that's both of our number two. And that year, I just I forgot all about it, and I was just walking through Target. <gasps> I mean, I've had so many moments like that with that stupid cereal. That's stupid. But the thing is, the Count Chocula. We would make ourselves sick on that Absolutely cereal. sick. But they sell it year round. I know, but they bring but it I, out. But I feel like when we were really little, they didn't sell yeah. Count Chocula. I don't ever get it unless yeah. it's how No, I don't either. But yeah. but they don't they don't typically release Boo Berry and, and Frankenberry no. until yeah. October. I don't ever see that. And those are the, they taste like cardboard. Like Yeah. Well now, well, now only Count Chocula comes out in Halloween, too. What? Yeah, they, they all... don't have blueberry or frankenberry anymore. No, no, no. They all come out only during the holidays. Count Chocula used to be year round, but now he's not. Yeah. They're this all around absurd. Halloween. Yeah, but you know they made a board game, right? Uh, oh, what? My goodness. monster crunch. Are you it's kidding? where you're you're trying to eat the biggest bowl of that cereal. <laughs> 
so has this been reviewed on your YouTube channel yet? Yes, it has, and so it's going to be played tonight too. So anyway, Yay. all right, this is that's fantastic. awesome. All right, so <laughs> I love that there are so many people that have this memory that we do. They there you literally go. made our number two. I was sitting here freaking out that you both were talking about Couch and Dracula. but enough people have had this experience that they made a board game about it called Monster yeah. Crunch, yeah. the breakfast battle game. And, and, and when you bought it, and when you bought it, uh, your your little player board is one of the bowls of cereal. No way. So cute. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I'm this, so popular. Wow. Yeah. You have to there link this uh, video game or this board game review in the comments there you below go. this. Yeah, this anyone who's seen my channel, they know it's, it's a great game. Wow. All right. So, anyway, uh, let's move on. My uh, number two, I will say, is Edge of Madness. I went one year, I went several years with different people and had a lot of fun. But there was one year I remember was there crazy. Was a big dude with a chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Um, but I was working at DirecTV, a buddy of mine, Dustin, who was kind of annoying, but I, I felt bad for him because his mom dressed provocatively and probably was an older mom that was good looking. And everyone in the call center talked about his mom in front of his face. And I know Dustin did not like that. Uh -huh. And but, you know, he was a good kid. And so even though he's full of himself and he definitely dished out lots okay. of insults himself. Sure. But. He was a good kid, so I, I he didn't have many friends because a lot of people thought he was just a he, he was kind of egotistical. He he loved Dustin loved one thing, and that was a mirror. <laughs> he could look at himself in a mirror all day long. I mean, he was the little pretty boy. Mirror, mirror, but he, oh. you know, like I said, I kind of felt bad for the kid. And he didn't have anyone to go to Edge of Madness with him. They all were going, but they didn't want to bring Dustin because yeah. Dustin's a little jerk. He's a little eighteen year old punk kid. And, and everybody like, went to Edge of Madness back then. But he, yeah, he everybody. was telling me, Matt, and I can't, but he couldn't get a crown because he didn't really have friends i was like you know what Dustin, come on i'll go with you and i was a supervisor by then but i was like, i'll go with Dustin because I, I it'd been a while since i'd gone i hadn't gone with anyone so we went um there was people that mess with you in the line right yeah that would they, yeah. they were dressed up and they yeah they do that and they come up to you yeah, like that, you know, hiss on you and stuff like that well i'm just talking about in the line yeah. the, the hissers and yeah. whatnot that, yeah. and there's this one guy who did this weird clicking noise and everything and he, his eyes were like a viper and he he had the fake teeth and everything, and he he was moving around, and you know he just looked he was human but not human, sure. he was demon human. And I remember he looked at everyone, then he looked at me and walked up to me, and then stopped, and broke character and smiled at me like, and I was like, I I'm getting kind of freaked out now. What's yeah. he doing? Because he stopped making the noise. He just looked at me and smiled. And he went, uh, Matt Matt Wilkins, right? And I went. Well, uh, I'm sorry. He went, uh, uh, me, Joey, Joey Pastel or whatever. I was like, who? He went, you just, I interviewed him for a job that day. Shut <laughs> up. That day? That day. And I, I told him I was going to hire him. He was like, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, working with you at Drake TV. I'm just so, so excited. I was hire like, me so I don't have to do this anymore. You're, you're welcome, Joe. It's a, uh, wow. Glad okay. to have you he on went, the team, man. Okay, well, um, I can get back to work. I went, okay. He went. <laughs> and went back into character get someone else but it was like i was like that freaked me out for a little bit i was like wow. what he just kind of stopped and looked at me like he knew me i was like oh what's going on here because i didn't recognize him from the interview he didn't look like that wow. i wouldn't hire him i was like, like that was weird man but thing. that's not all oh so dustin's trying to impress me that he knows all the tricks because he's been oh. here several times oh. step here don't step here move here do this so he and had he, no one to go with you know but... he was kind of a jerk too he'd go boo he'd boo scare someone you don't scare me ha 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 I was like, okay, stop being a jerk to everyone. Sure. Well, anyway, we were in that dark room. You know, you had to feel your way, and people yeah, yeah, were grabbing yeah. at you. That's the worst. Well, I kept bumping into Dustin. Dustin, move. He went, hold on, wait, I'm wait, wait to see where he is. I said, Dustin, just go. And so I kept busting, and then I bumped into him. I said, and I grabbed. I said, Dustin, and I hear this. I am not Dustin. No. And I went, okay, well, there's some girls behind me. Scare them. And I just pushed him back. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I reached into the darkness and grabbed someone out of their cubbyhole I thought was Dustin who oh. went the wrong way. That's like Dustin. something out of a horror movie. I know. But then we got separated like they separate you like, in the coffin yeah, rides yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So we got separated and I was like, oh, screw it. He'll find his way around. I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to move through here and I'll wait for him to come out. Well, so anyway, they had the scary, the light on, light off, light on, light off. And the girl in the corner, Oh, and I was no, like, no, and then no. you know, you know what's going to happen. No. So I, I walk into the room. It's lit. I see the little girl just staring into the corner. I mean, face oh, away from me. No. And I went, oh, oh man. fudge. <laughs> but I didn't say <laughs> fudge. <laughs> anyway, the lights go off. They know exactly where you're standing. I mean, somehow they know exactly. The lights turn back on. Uh -uh. She is right no. 
in front of me how with hair the, over her face. How quick is the delay? A few seconds. Okay, okay. There's, I don't know how she did it. She was right Completely in front of me. Right. And when the light turned on, I went, Dah! Yeah. I went, oh, you, oh! And the light went off again. And I went, please move. I'm yeah. going to piss the floor. <laughs> and then the next thing, she's, she's way over there again. I said, Thank you, and I ran. Were you wearing? Because I was like, oh, no, I didn't like that. And then plus the the bride who crawls and uh, yeah. d- d- directs her neck around yeah. couldn't do that either. So, but yeah. those were some of my memories. Oh, 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 oh. And then later on, someone else attached attacked to me, and I thought I thought they couldn't touch you. It was in the dark, and someone yeah. grabbed me. Was like, yeah. she did you put? It's another girl. I was like, who are you? She went, hi, I'm Meredith. Will you will you stay with me and walk me through this? I'm scared. <laughs> and I lost my team. Like, She's introducing sure. herself. She was, and the lights go back out. She went, no. I'm really scared. I said, okay, me too. And the lights come back. I said, okay, come on, let's go. And she's like, okay. I said, okay, yeah. here, hold my hand. And we went through the. <laughs> but she was like, hi. She said, hi. And whatever her name was. Introduced to right. herself. To herself. Said, right. And I'm scared. Can I hold you? I said, sure. Will you get me out of here? I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that would be a brilliant ploy if you were an actor that worked there. You could oh, pose. man. And then she has a crazy and face. And then scares you to death. Oh, no. <laughs> but I remember that whole trip was a lot of fun, even though Dustin was, I love him, but he was a little bit of annoying. But I did have a fun time, and all those weird things happened in one night, and I thought, wow, I had more fun than I thought <laughs> right. I would. Right. It was always an amazing time, and it was so disappointing, yeah. because I think you're right that they weren't allowed to touch you, quote unquote, but they absolutely They did. did. And brush your hair. They'd brush your yeah. hair or something right. like that. And, and, it, and it just caused too many But problems. I remember someone grabbed me. I was like, what the heck? I thought, I'm going to crap myself <laughs> if it's the scary girl again. Oh, man. That, but um, That's always the worst. Oh, thing. Yeah. When you, it's the worst. You know it. You see it coming. And but I miss oh, it. Man. I miss it. I do, too. I miss it. Really. Like, they have something similar in town. Never went to it. I know we're talking about the one downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never I went, went to it. Uh, two years ago, it was, it was fun. Like, it wasn't at all the edge of madness, but not even close to the same level, but it was fun. I I remember uh, our state representative, Michael Eccles, was meant to call them about the noise or something, the parking. They were oh, the violating parking the parking absurd. or whatever. Yeah, the parking. Well, they were violating the parking. Yeah. And so he called me and cussed me out. And so I called Michael back. I was like, uh, I'm sorry, this is Matt Wilkins. I spoke to you earlier about some kind of it's something oh with going up Strauss went, I think you meant to get in touch with something, something, something. And he said, I'm so sorry. But I said, no. I said, it pissed me off, too. But they parked in his parking space and stuff. And oh. they were parking down. Ha- having people park everywhere is that you need to get your blank in, in yeah, line because yeah, you, yeah. your parking is atrocious. And y'all yeah. really, we gave you a permit and you're violating the. This is at Edge of Madness? Or uh, what? No, in downtown. downtown yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. That was funny. I feel like Edge of Madness was making so much money, they just broke the rules anyway and paid the funds later. And it was Probably so. Part of it, but. but Okay, so what is Numero Uno? Numero Uno for me, okay, have you seen, I'm sure you have, the movie Hook? With, uh, yes, of course, yeah, yeah. Robin Williams is Peter Pan. It's mm-hmm. it's the best. Uh, uh, I can. <laughs> he can fight and he can fly and he can crow, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And so that's that's the best adaptation of Peter Pan I've ever seen. And I, it's, it's fantastic. It's one of my all-time yeah. favorite movies. Yeah. So, in the beginning of the movie, they fly to England to see, you know, Aunt, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, Granny Wendy. Wendy, and and Moira is the lady who answers the door, right. and he says, uh, you know, Robin Williams tugs on his son's shirt and he says, you know, be polite. This is the England, this is the land of good manners, and she yeah, opens the door and she man. says, ah! <laughs> and she just screams in their yeah. faces and like shuts the door, or no, Toodles opens it first, and he's he's like, yeah. it's snowing, and then he slams the door in their yeah. face. And then Moira comes out and, and opens the door and just screams at yeah. them. My number one Halloween memory of all time, without comparison, absolutely no contest, is basically meeting that lady in real life. Oh, wow. I was dressed as Little Red Riding Hood. And once again, it was me and Dusty. And so I'm of six course. foot six and definitely not little. But I was Little Red Riding Hood, and I had a big red cloak on and a basket and everything, and, you know, like whiskers painted on my face and and just all this, like a mustache and, and a beard. And then he was dressed, I don't remember, as some female character as well. Like, we were clearly two, two big guys, and uh, we just went as some fairy tale, whatever. But I don't have any idea what he was or anything else that happened that night except for that lady opening the door and just That's seeing funny. her faces our costumes and she was you know she opens the door and her eyes are downward cast like she's yeah. looking for a child 
And, and she sees you and then she, two tall you guys. Know, eyes come up and she just screams and That's just funny. cackles. I was afraid for her. Like there was one moment mm-hmm. in, in the theater when I was in a play that was a comedy and I was, it was the lead role. And I remember a guy in the front row was so red faced. <laughs> I was genuinely afraid he was going to have a heart attack mid, mid performance. I was like, that guy's going to die right here. Cause <laughs> he was funny. laughing so hard. Right. I was like, good for you, man. And I was just really, I was staying in the performance, but yeah. like one eye was, was on this guy I was like is he gonna and i'm trying to like give him time to breathe before i did the next joke even but this lady like put him to shame i thought she was gonna die right there in her front uh front door and she just wouldn't stop and all of her neighbors heard her screaming and she just kept cackling just absolutely top of her lungs dying laughing and it was the best moment i think i've ever had on halloween that's hilarious we were just that's it. great because i switched because we started we opened the door and and and, and she would cackle and, da, 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 da. and then she finally recovered just enough to breathe and then i i switched because i was like hi i'm little red riding hood and this is my counterpart you know and i would say something random like that but i was speaking when we were speaking in really high voices and then after she finally recovered again then I switched to my baritone. I was like, so actually, we just decided to be fairly funny to go do this. And oh, she lost it. Lost like, again. Lost that's it. awesome. Completely lost it. So we, it was just it was a perfect moment for me. But That's awesome. Yeah. It was just making people laugh. It's always been one of my favorite things in the world. And, and that's, that was the one of the best examples ever. Okay, so my number one is I'm very disappointed that it's uh, not oh, on your list. Whoa. Well, now you oh, know why, at sure. least, right? I mean, that's oh, a good memory. Sure. Is yours better than that? All right, what should be his number one? I thought for sure sitting in front of the TV eating our giant hoard of chocolate. Our punch bowl full of candy. Watching. Yes. The Halloween. This is me. Halloween. Halloween trees. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'm so wow. What are you talking about? It means so much to you to spend no. time with your brother eating candy no. and Listen, watching Disney show, Halloween. It's all about the Disney Halloween treat show special. <laughs> Even now, when I see that show, I feel like all is right in the world. It just makes me feel so <laughs> happy and warm inside. Which That's is funny. weird because it's like demons and stuff. <laughs> it's a really creepy show. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Just, That's yeah, funny. It's great. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's a great memory. What's the best part of Disney's Halloween treat then for you? Because it's a montage of the of the scary anything scary that Disney did. Like, and this is from eighty two, eighty three, yeah. or something like that. Probably the mountain. Night on Bald Mountain, the very yeah. first one. Yeah, or the wow. dancing skeletons. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Oh, the I dancing skeletons. It. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. My favorite, at the very end, is conversely, is the the the, the, the ducks. Uh, uh, Huey, Dewey, I and Louie. T- yeah, the trick or treat, trick or treat, yeah. trick, or treat. Mm-hmm. trick or treat for Halloween. When ghosts wow. and goblins are in score, ring the bell at your front door. You better not be stingy, or <laughs> your nightmares will come true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the best. Okay, well, my you gotta watch one. the one with the magic mirror, not the one with the stupid yeah. talking pumpkin. Okay, yeah. all right, okay. the magic mirror. M- my number one is the first time i ever went trick-or-treating real trick-or-treating which was megan and i went to disney world (laughs) and it was for mickey's not so scary halloween nice and they were giving out little bags for everyone to go trick-or-treat you could go to these little spots all over the magic kingdom and go get get some candy and uh megan wanted to do some shopping i was like sure so we were going shopping we went to a store and that was one of the stations was at that store and Lay goes, trick or treat. I said, trick or treat. And she goes, would you like some candy? I said, I'm sorry. I didn't get the trick or treat bag at the front. We did. She's like, well, we can use your shopping bag. I went, oh, okay. And we had this big shopping bag. And so she threw some candy in there. So here, and gave me a second handful. I went, that's awesome. And she said, yeah. And wherever you go, they'll, they'll fill up that bag. But you too. were familiar with the concept of trick or treating. Well, yeah, no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> but I'd never gone trick or treating. Well, anyway, while we're in that store, I was going, when she said, they'll fill up that bag too. Well, this is a pretty big bag. And then I turned to Meg. I said, how, how many stores are you going to hit? She went, I'm going to hit all Main Street right now. I said, so what, an hour? She went, oh, maybe, maybe longer. I went, would you mind if I went trick-or-treating? <laughs> and she goes, sure, go ahead. So I, I, we emptied out the bag. I kept the big bag. And I went, let's fill up this bag. I walked around Disney World four, maybe five times. Shut I up. mean, I kept walk, doing the. I was getting exercise too. Yeah, well, we've... I filled up that entire bag. Oh, we got home. That's a dream. And we this? wait. We waited. Who is this adult trick or treating? I, mean, I was getting because it was super. It was super heavy. I said, Megan, I don't know how much this is, but this is hurting my arms holding this. <laughs> so we put it on the scale. Yeah. 
How much did you have? Nineteen point eight pounds. You remember wow. the number? Wow. It was it was point two pounds minus so 20, twenty pounds. Now, I was like, the good stuff, though? no way. A lot of it was the they good because it's get Disney. Those strawberries and stuff. Uh, there was a few there. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, but they, but they did give some fruit chews and stuff like that yeah. that I wasn't a big fan of. But no, a lot of it was chocolate. It was Mickey chocolate and Goofy, yeah, yeah. Go, the, the Goofy candy that you can get from the Goofy store. Yeah. And so it was like stuff like that. And I was like. This is not a and then plus the regular snack size candy bars. I was like, mm. this is a pretty good haul. Mm. I mean, it was so heavy that all the snack size candy bars at the bottom they were flat. They were flat. Wow! I had so wow. much candy wow. piled up in that bag. That's the dream. But it was almost twenty pounds worth like, of candy in yeah. one night. I felt mm-hmm. like I was Rocky. Uh, I, I oh I dun, I climbed the dun, steps of Main Street and went yo dun, dun, Mickey we did it you know we did it um but I was so proud of that and that has to be my favorite moment that's um, a good that's a good thing one. for a first a first haul first, first yeah. trick or treat haul like ever that, that 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 number five for me eating that punch bowl of candy and that get it that was her number one that that yeah. we ate about twenty pounds that night like we ate all of it that night not just collected it but I ate it all yeah shout out to our parents who let us do thank that. you yeah. appreciate it. Hey, folks. So there you go. So while you're enjoying your Halloween evening, think about your top five. And May hey, I drop one more scary thing in the podcast before oh, we go? Oh, please go ahead. Because it reminded me, as, as we were talking about the Disney's Halloween, that the only time I've ever had a, a recurring dream uh, was when I was about 10 years old. Mm-hmm. I was 10, 11, and 12. I had the same nightmare every year. Uh in October, only in October, and it was precisely the same every single year until the very end. And it was about the Ghostbusters and Slimer. <laughs> and I can, I, if we had time, I could describe it to you in perfect detail right now. Wow. Years later, in every way, up until the very end. And in the third year, I don't know what changed, but I knew what was going to happen at the end. Because at the very end of the dream, like someone reaches for the door handle and it goes in slow motion, and that's when your body gets terrified. You're like, no, no, don't touch the door. Don't touch the door. It's yeah. going to be right there and on the other side of the door. But you can't stop it from opening yeah. the door. And then on the third year, it was like, it was always, or this first year and the second year, it was a terrible, like, demonized voice. It was like, I shall return. And it was the most horrifying thing. And I didn't know what that meant. You got haunted it, every it, Halloween? Did, but what it meant was that the dream was coming back. And that did. And it, I didn't have it the next night. I had it a year later. And then again, a wild. year later. Crazy. I had it three years in a row. But I remember the third year that that did not go into slow motion. And then I didn't hear the voice. And the door opened. And I saw how the dream ended. And then I never had it again. And it what? was the creepiest thing I've ever had so, to me. So you know what happened. Yeah. Your sister that night sprinkled holy water <laughs> on you. Because she saw you writhing in the bed. <laughs> She said, the power of Christ commands you. The power of Christ you were You were, rise, you were levitating I from the bed during that dream. Might have been. <laughs> uh, but All right. Anyway. Well, you know what? This has been fun. It Let's do this fun. again. Yeah, I agree. Happy Halloween, everybody. I want chocolate now. Happy oh Halloween. Oh, my God. That's all I want. Yay! I want a Snickers bar right now. Mm-hmm. Happy Halloween on Saturday morning. Samoflange. 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 Yay! <laughs>